Welcome back to the Immigration Hour on Mirchi with attorneys of the LNPZ Law Group, your friend and guide in business and family immigration and nationality law, right here in New Jersey, New York, and Indiana, with offices in India and Canada. So, David, uh, you know, religious workers have their own visa category, and I was wondering what is that, and who qualifies to be a religious worker. Right. So, Vijaya, that's a great question and one that we frequently get from our clients is, do I qualify for a religious worker visa and how does it work? So there are, first of all, non-immigrant religious worker visas and they're immigrant religious worker visas. So non-immigrant religious worker visas are R1s. And then for immigrant religious workers, we have what are called EB4. And what's really nice about the religious worker visa is it goes from uh, R to EB4. So individuals who are have worked for two full years in the United States as a religious worker can then step up to the green card. So it's a really nice and fast way to get to the green card. So what is a religious worker? Well, are they're broken down into various categories. R1s are ministers, priests, and rabbis. R2s are what we call professional religious workers. So those are individuals who have a baccalaureate degree or its equivalent. Those are professional religious workers. So who are those? Well, those could be counselors. Those could be uh, uh, maybe music directors, um, maybe assistants to uh, to a priest or a minister or a rabbi. And then you have uh, then you have these R threes, and R threes are anyone who is performing a traditional religious function. So, for example, and this is the example I think that Ludka and I always use when we are uh, presenting religious workers, uh, you know, uh, we're always talking about, do you think that a person who's a janitor at a local uh, church or a uh, local temple, are they considered to be religious workers? And the answer is no, they're not religious workers, or maybe someone, if they're performing an administrative function, then it's you know kind of borderline. But if they're performing what we can clearly show as a traditional religious function, then that's okay, and we can get religious worker visas for them. So uh-huh. um, they have to be not-for-profit organizations, okay? So they have to be not-for-profit in the United States, and they have to be religious organizations. So we work very closely with religious organizations across the country, mm-hmm. and we bring individuals who are able to work in these organizations and then bump themselves up to a green card after two years. Oh, okay. Wow. That's uh, amazing. I mean, the layers that there are available. So thank you for that, David. So green cards, citizenships, Canadian immigration, adjustment of status, H-1B visas, marriage cases, just some of the services provided by the NPZ Law Group. Call them today for a consult at 201-670-0006 or just log on to visaserve.com. More law lessons for the layperson back in a moment. Just keep it right here on Mirchi, it's hot.